Have you ever wondered which is faster, macOS or Linux? Today, we'll find out. I've installed Asahi Linux on my MacBook Air, so now I'm dual booting macOS and Linux on the same laptop. This allows us to test both systems on the same device. We'll go through various performance tests in different sections, and some of the results at the end might surprise you. Okay, let's begin with a simple boot speed test. To start Asahi Linux, you first have to manually enter the boot options on your Mac. Of course, this makes it take longer to boot up, but I'm only going to count the time after entering the boot options. So, let's see. Choose Asahi and press Enter. It's booting up. And it took 30.55 seconds. Now it's macOS's turn. Select Macintosh and start. Twenty one point four nine seconds. So Mac OS won by nine seconds. The first point goes to Mac. Yes, I'll give points to the winner. And at the end, we're going to compare their scores. The next thing I did was open apps and measure how long it takes to open them on both systems. Oh, and if you want to install Asahi Linux on your Mac, check out my video about it. First, let's start with the browser. I'm using Firefox. At the top is Mac OS and at the bottom is Linux. OK, let's open it now. I think Linux was slightly faster, 0 0.55 seconds. Next up, I'm going to open VLC Media Player. In Linux, I'll right-click on the video and select Open with VLC Media Player. It was quick, 0 0.48 seconds. OK, in Mac OS, I'll right-click, select Open with, and choose VLC.app. It was slower than Asahi, 1.42 seconds, almost twice as long. And I think I deserve a like for this shot. Now, let's test Visual Studio Code. In Linux, I type code space dot and press Enter. It opens in about one second. In macOS, I do the same. But it took longer, 1.23 seconds. So, Asahi Linux opens applications faster. In this video, I only tested three apps, but when I'm using Linux, I always notice how quickly it opens different apps. Next up, I have two files, a Python file and a C file. I'm going to run them and measure their runtime. Let's start with the Python file. I open it in Vim, my favorite code editor. It's a simple Python program. It counts to 1 billion and prints done. I save it and run it with Python 3 like .py. Let's wait a little bit. Oh, it finished in 1 minute and 16 seconds. Yeah, Python isn't the fastest, but I also have the same program written in C. I compile it with gcc subscribe.c and run it using dot slash a dot out. It was really quick, 0 0.54 seconds to be exact. Now, let's move to Asahi Linux. I have the same files here, so we can run them again. Okay, Python starts 59.02 seconds. It was faster than Mac OS. Let's see if the C program is faster too. Okay, GCC subscribe.c. Oh, it seems I don't have GCC installed on Linux. And Clang isn't installed either. How to install GCC to Asahi Linux? Wait, I can just use sudo dnf install gcc. I'm a genius. Okay, now gcc is installed. I compile the program with gcc subscribe.c and it works. 
running it with dot slash a dot out. It was fast too, 2.13 seconds. It's interesting that Linux was faster for Python, but ran the C code slower. But never mind. Asahi Linux wins this category. Point to Linux. I have this nearly 7 gigabyte video file. To compress it on macOS, I right click on the file, choose Compress, and it starts compressing into a zip file. macOS finished the process, and here's our zip file. It took 2 minutes and 31 seconds. To extract it, I just double click, and it starts expanding with the archive utility. That process took 28.28 seconds. Now let's move to Linux. I right click on the file, choose Compress, and select Zip. It starts compressing. Oh, what was that sudden jump there? But it's done. The ZIP file has been created. Next, I'm extracting it into the Documents folder. That was fast, just 8.31 seconds. And here's my video again. By the way, I love that growing cursor animation in Linux. So Linux was faster in both compression and extraction. I'll give two points to Linux. Now let's test Blender. I'm a Blender pro, so I created this beautiful thing, and I'm going to render an image of it. I leave the default settings, go to render, and click render image. Mac OS says it took three seconds to render. I'm repeating this 10 more times and calculating the average. The average render time on Mac OS is 2.54 seconds. Let's see how Linux performs. I open Blender, load the same project, And here's the same beautiful scene. The settings are identical, so let's render it. The first render took 2.41 seconds, already faster than Mac OS's average. On the second attempt, it took just 1.9 seconds. Nice. After 10 renders, the average render time on Linux was 1.97 seconds. Once again, Linux wins. So the score is 5 to 1 to Linux. Here I closed every app on both systems except OBS, which is my recording software. I opened Activity Monitor and watched how much memory and CPU they use. On the Mac, we can see it's using around 5.3 gigabytes of memory. But in Linux, it's just using 3.9 gigabytes. We can also notice that OBS is using less memory in Linux. Asahi Linux also uses a way lower percentage of the CPU than macOS. Most Linux distributions are more lightweight than macOS or Windows. So if you have an older computer, Linux is a great choice. Lastly, I performed a CPU and memory benchmark test. For the CPU, I used SysBench, which generates prime numbers to evaluate performance. Once again, it's the same laptop, but in macOS, the CPU speed was significantly higher, around 8 million events per second, whereas in Asahi Linux, it was only 9,000. The CPU latency was also higher on Linux. However, in the memory test, Linux performed better, with a memory transfer speed of 7,600 megabytes per second, compared to just 5,200 megabytes per second on macOS. So, after running all these tests, Asahi Linux came out on top, on my scoreboard. But in the end, it all depends on what you need.
If you prefer customization, lightweight performance, and more control, Linux definitely has the edge. But if you're looking for out-of-the-box stability and seamless app compatibility, macOS also offers much better application compatibility compared to Linux. In my opinion, Asahi Linux is perfect for programming and development. And when it comes to gaming, it's continuously improving, so it might become an even better choice in the future. This video took me a long time to make, so I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. The full test results are in the description. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below.